Commissioner Navracic, Chair of the Culture Committee, Mrs. Sabine Beheya, President of the European Festivals Association, Mr. Jan Bryers. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I must apologize most sincerely for not being able to be in Brussels with you tonight. My name is Jonathan Mills. I send you greetings from across the Atlantic where I am currently in New Haven, Connecticut. It is my great privilege and pleasure to chair on behalf of the European Festivals Association, the Jury for Europe for Festivals, Festivals for Europe. What does this mean? What is Europe for Festivals and Festivals for Europe? At one level, this seems entirely obvious, that Europe is a place of festivals. Some 2,000 of them have registered officially, but we know there are many, many more. Perhaps even tens of thousands of festivals, encouraging every year hundreds of millions of citizens across Europe to engage in cultural projects, to come together in peace, to celebrate the diversity and the richness of our cultures. So Europe for festivals, and most particularly festivals for Europe, is a celebration of Europe at its best. Europe as a cultural project, Europe as a cultural celebration of diversity, of inclusiveness, of cosmopolitanism, and of peace and goodwill. Tonight's celebrations honour the very best of a truly remarkable genre. Europe's festivals are extraordinary by any measure, and tonight we celebrate the very best of those festivals. We celebrate the artists that every year bring a remarkable diversity of work from all corners of the world to Europe and from all parts of Europe within Europe. The great Italian writer and thinker Umberto Eco was once asked, what was the language of Europe? And he said, the language of Europe is the language of translation. And no better place to explore and experience that act of translation than through Europe's festivals. Artists translating different kinds of cultural experiences to audiences the length and breadth of this continent. Celebrating diversity, celebrating inclusivity, celebrating the cosmopolitan richness of all of Europe's diverse festivals and all of Europe's diverse cultures. Tonight we celebrate those artists, the thousands of individuals and ensembles from diverse backgrounds, practicing very different kinds of art and artistry, dancers, composers, musicians, instrumentalists, singers, actors, theatre directors, designers, filmmakers, writers, ballet dancers, choreographers, contemporary dancers, a myriad of different artists who've dedicated their lives to allowing us all to dream a little larger and to imagine a world that is bigger than ourselves. Tonight we celebrate artists, but we also celebrate a remarkable group of people, people who enable artists to dream with the diversity that they can, enablers, festival directors, festival curators, impresarios, call them what you like, the people behind the scenes who create the context in which this extraordinary cultural diversity can actually shine. Tonight, two in particular are the subject of our grateful thanks for their lifetime of commitment and achievement in film, cinema and cosmopolitanism and in the performing arts. To all of you, artists, enablers, congratulations. 
to Tibor Navracic, our best wishes for your future and our huge and heartfelt thanks for your support as our cultural commissioner for Europe for Festivals and Festivals for Europe.